Let's go, fireball hit something. It didn't hit anything that I needed it to, but you know what? Sometimes that's gonna happen. So, we'll be watching for that. We will be... What's... What's the... What's the point of that? Come on. One tower shot, please. Come on! <laughs> He's like this close to getting it. Guys, do you see how close that is? It doesn't get much more close than that. Alright guys, what's going on? Hope you guys are having a great one, and we are going to be going for 5,000 trophies today with this beautiful hog mortar deck. A lot of you guys are requesting for a deck with the hog or with the mortar, so I figured, hey, let's just put them together and see what happens. I actually got this deck from a guy called Groge Gaming. He's got his own YouTube channel, so I'll have his video down in the description below, but he actually got all the way up to Champions League with this deck, which is crazy. Like, he plays this deck really, really well, so check out his video, leave him a sub if you want to, but uh, yeah, we gotta get three wins, then we can get to 5k, and we'll just keep on pushing for the rest of the season. Maybe with this deck, but let's just hop into it. Mr. Danny from the 2015 clan, let's go. He's got Bowler too, so let's hold on for a sec. Let's let that knight get targeted onto the archer. Let that hog scoot right past that. Okay, and he's got Bowler Cannon. Neat. Okay, guys, barely snuck out the tie against a hard counter, which is honestly what ladder's all about. You just have to basically try to avoid as many losses as possible. If you gotta stretch that tie, you gotta stretch that tie. Anyways, El Bombe, let's go, mister. And hopefully he doesn't have bowler and cannon because that matchup sucks for hog and mortar like that's Probably the worst matchup you can get unless it's like bowler royal giant or like something something like that. It's a it's not a fun matchup, but Let's see this guy's rocking the archers. He's got the log So that probably means that our bats are gonna be like really really good in this matchup Let's get a hog in here too and fireball that There we go taking out the knight and the archer come on hog get one shot and the tower come on one tower shot, please. Come on! <laughs> He's like this close to getting it. Guys, do you see how close that is? It doesn't get much more close than that. Alright, so I'm gonna go out on a limit and guess that he's got like a graveyard deck or something. Maybe he doesn't, but that's just kind of what I'm thinking right now after that. Ooh, poison. Juicy. Nice, and we can zap that down. Oh, yes! Yahoo! Woohoo! <laughs> I love when they kind of get in on the emotes too, so you're not just like BMing the entire time. Guys, it's like you're playing another person. It's it's just like that. Yes, Mortar, you're so bad and so good at the same time. <laughs> Alright, so he's got a furnace, and I'm guessing a graveyard is going to be one of his last cards, just because generally people have like a knight, sometimes they have a building in these graveyard decks, and then they've got some other stuff in there, you know, just to cycle pretty fast. But let's see, is he going to give me some... Ah! You know what? I'll take that. That's four elixir right there. I'll take that fireball value. I'll take it. Let's go. That's all we need to do, guys. Slowly chip the tower, play good defense, and pray that he doesn't have, a, like, a sneaky last card like an expo. It might be expo, actually, but, uh, we'll, we'll take, we'll play it by ear. Let's, uh, play slow, boys. Don't panic. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Called it. There's the graveyard. He's poisoning, so let's go knight. And we're, we're not even going to go goblins. We're just going to let this kind of sit here. Let it hang in the air. Just let it happen. All right. And let's go. He has logs. So that's really good for us because we're going to go this, this, and a prediction fireball that's about to hit absolutely. Ah, I've hit the furnace. That's decent. <laughs> it almost hit absolutely nothing. That would have been the worst fireball I've ever had. But, <laughs> oh, that was, that was like, that was miserable. That was such a terrible fireball. Oh, he's going log too. Okay, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. Because we can go this. Yes, and the mortar gets a hit. Oh, guys, the mortar has a glitch. I Yes, hog, yes! <laughs> Ignore that. We'll talk about it after. There we go, sealing it. Let's go, boys. Let's go. You messed up there. He had the tornado. He had the furnace. I don't know why he didn't use it better, but hey, that's GG's, boys. GG's, Mr. El Bombe. There we go, guys. Win number one on the day. We'll take it. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, the mortar does have this, like, super weird glitch where basically, even if there's a troop targeted onto it, when it kills the mortar, the mortar will still get a shot onto the tower. It just doesn't target the troop. It just targets the tower for some reason, which makes absolutely no sense. But, I mean, hey, as a filthy mortar user, it's pretty nice. Anyways, this is the dog himself. He's epic for justice. And let's go bats. All right, so he's got like a hog cycle deck. All right, he'd use that. Let's go this because he's got 
Hopefully no defense. Hopefully no tornado. Let's sap all this here. And one, two shots. Give me two shots. Come on. Mm. Delightful. Goblins and archers. If he has a fireball, I'm probably going to cry. But archers are going to soak that up. Nice. Oh, guys. Perfect shutdown. Perfectly shut down. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, boy. He's got a hog. Hold on. Let's uh, hold off. No, my mortar was so badly placed. Yep, that, 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 yep, 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 I deserve that. That was an awfully placed mortar. I needed, like, one tile up. Would have been perfect. Messed it up. All right. But what does this guy have? He's got a cannon for defense, which is pretty solid against, like, hog or mortar. He's got a prince. He's got a hog. So, like, I seems like a low-cost deck with, like, really strong offense. So, we'll be watching for that. We will be... What's... What's the... What's the point of that? Come on. I could just, I can just fireball that, get free value. Like, we're gonna zap and, mm, let's just fireball this. Let's just fireball it. And, no, he bamboozled me, guys. The hog didn't even get a shot. That, well, that's some, that's well played from him. I've got to say, I've got to say, he's playing this very well. We are going to take some serious damage here, but that hog's going down pretty, Prince. Don't, just one shot. Ugh. Disgusting, but it was only one shot, so <laughs> we'll see what happens. We gotta play We gotta make sure that we have a tank for our hog or our mortar just because like cannon prince minion horde it all does I am so confused by this guy's decisions it's, it's like he's he's trying to let me win the game, but he's also like not trying to let me win the game It is super weird. Let's go fireball hit something it didn't hit anything that I needed it to, but you know what? Sometimes that's going to happen. Sometimes fireballs suck. And that's the best advice I can give you guys in today's video. Sometimes fireballs suck. All right, he's going cannon there. So our mortar's going to latch onto that. We've got archers. We've got zaps. So let's do this. Let's go goblins, because those are already locked on. And let's go hog. Hog and bats up the middle. Come on. He's going to get another cannon down, maybe? Nope. The hog's just not going to get a shot. Perfect. Love it. So good. Whew. My favorite thing. <laughs> He's going to go hog down the other side, so let's pull this over with the mortar here. Come on. Hello, Mr. Hog Rider. Come over here. Yes, exactly. Yes, and I do see the spear goblin there, but I don't care about a spear goblin. I care about getting my hog to this tower right here and taking it down. Get that zap down. Come on, archers. You got to hit faster than that. Come on. Come on, hog. Get through. Get through. One shot. One shot, please. Yes. All right, and let's go, Hog or knight right there, yes, bats, hopefully that takes that down, nice mortar, let's go, and goblin so we can't cannon, oh I need a zap, I need a zap, I need a zap, come on mortar lock on, yes, mortar go, let's go, come on, one more shot, I think we got it boys, I think we got it, come on, yes, there we go, whoa, that's, <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to say there, but it doesn't matter because we got the win, let's go. All right, guys, let's go. One win to go. Let's do this thing. I did get a comment in my last video saying that he thought that I was cutting out matches. I'm literally just cutting out the space in between my matches because I think that it gets a little slow and boring there. So uh, just to keep the video up to speed for you guys, I cut out that bit. Anyways, Mr. Goblin Gang right here and Mr. Giant Skeleton. Let's go mortar over here. Like, as soon as I see a tank go down, I'm just like, boom, opposite lane mortar or opposite lane hog. Whatever I have, it's going down. I'm Colin Timber. That's a super old thing to say. And I'm sorry I said it, guys. Uh, forgive me. <laughs> All right, let's go bats here for this just to take it out. Let's go Mr. Goblins over here. Those bats actually would have taken that out a lot faster, but, you know, I'm not... I'm, I'm just playing it safe, guys. Just playing it safe. And you know what? I'll soak that damage there. We'll do it. All right, so he's got Goblin Gang. He didn't see... Like, he's got Goblins in there too, but let's see if he's got them in the cycle. Let's see, what's he got? Does he have Tornado? Oh, he to- Oh, what a filthy Tornado user, my dude. Filthy tor <laughs> I'm just kidding. Tornado's just like a solid overall card to use. I'm seeing so much Tornado on Ladder too. like... I don't really know why we've started seeing so much Tornado on Ladder. It's just like, hey, use Tornado. It's solid. You should use it. That, I think that's basically why. It's just like, good against Hog, good against like really bunched up pushes and everything. So, that's kind of why we're seeing it, but... We do have his goblins in rotation. Tornadoes, tornadoes, no, no. Goblins are out of rotation. Tornadoes probably in rotation, so let's see. 
Hog, I just need you- Ah, oh, Hog's not gonna get a shot. Dang it. So hard facing Tornado decks because you're always like, does he have it in cycle? Is he gonna have it in cycle? Chances are he does have it in cycle because, you know, Tornado LP, guys. <laughs> Alright, um, Knight in the middle to bring these together. Knight, bringing families together since 1983. It's beautiful times. Beautiful times. Alright, I'm expecting a giant skeleton. There's the giant skeleton there. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. We're gonna bamboozle him a little bit. Let's go heavy, heavy push going down the opposite lane. What's he gonna do? We're gonna zap. Let's go. Come on, hog. And bats. Let's go. Look at all that damage. Yes! <laughs> guys, we got him with the bamboozle push. That's all it takes. One bamboozle push. And it's gonna work. That's what they say. Uh, maybe. I don't know. That's the first thing I've heard about bamboozle pushes today. But we're gonna go mortar there. I meant to... Oh, goblins, please. And I need a knight. Mmm, let's go. I literally just needed to stop that giant skeleton there. And also the elite barbarians, because those are a pretty big pain too. But two fireballs is all we need, guys. That's it. Just two fireballs. So let's go a zap right here. I'm going to play this like super slow because I don't want to cost myself this game. I just want to play as slow as possible. Take it easy. We shut down that push. We'll fireball. We got some elixir to work with. And let's just keep it slow. Keep it steady. Because, again, if I if I throw away this match, I'm going to be so choked. There we go, Knight. Yes. There we go. We got Fireball. There we go, guys. This deck, so good. I mean, he was using Giant Skeleton Elite Barbarians, but who's to say that he isn't the GOAT? Let's go. Whoa. There we go, guys. 5,000 trophies and 5,400th in the world. Not bad. Definitely pretty solid. But we finally got the Night Witch in the shop so I can get a level 4 Night Witch now. Which has taken so long. Like, it's been a solid month since I got, like, one away. And I've been doing so many grand challenges. Could never get it. So there we go. Screenshot it. Click it. Finally a level 4 Night Witch. We also have a magical chest here. Maybe we're gonna get a legendary. Giants and hogs in one magical chest. It's the greatest day ever. There we go. And, hey, we'll take some Dark Princess. But that's... I, I only care about the giants and the hogs. Let's be real. And I've also saved this clan chest for like four days, so I mean, it's about time we open it up. If we get a legendary, which hasn't happened the last few crown chests, gonna be pretty stoked. There we go. Muskies, ice golems, nice. No legendary, supercell. I, I don't need commons. I'm all maxed out on commons. Come on. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Finally got that level four night witch, which is absolutely delightful. But yeah, if you enjoyed, leave a like. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.